welcome and in our today's class i'll be taking you through the super profit method of valuation of ordinary shares now basically this method is uh, actually applied when a business is sold a uh, business is sold as a going concern is only applying a business is sold as a going concern and in this case when a business is being sold it means that we have investors normally making the decision whether to buy the shares in the market or not to buy the shares and they will only make the right decision when they compare the intrinsic value of the shares with the value of the shares that is trading in the market like in this case the value of these shares in the market the market per, the market price per share is 84 shillings so we are going to get the intrinsic value that is the present value and compare it with this one and this is the question the power value of ordinary share capital of Kakuzi limited is 100 million and each share has a nominal value of 20 okay of course nominal value refers to the uh, the maturity value the firm's net asset is 300 million and return on investment is 15 percent the firm expects to generate 62 million per annum for the next six years and it is quoted in the stock market so it means that this particular company is listed to exchange in the stock market then you're told using the super profit method of valuation advise the investor on whether to buy the shares so we are going to get the intrinsic value but before that one i want us to recall uh, this investor is making some investment is making some investment and of course he expects what is known as return on investment that is actually what he expects r o e that is the return on investment but you find that many a times when you are buying shares or when you when you are getting some return from your investment the returns can sometimes be in excess okay the returns can sometimes be in excess of what was expected like you expected an amount of let's say something to do with 50000 and then the returns on investment is something to do with 12000 it means that difference of 48000 is known as super profit the super profit so actually how do we get super profit it is basically what you expected that is the expected returns minus returns on investment should give you the super profit that is excess of ex excess of what you actually expected but now again this method it incorporates the element of goodwill it incorporates the element of goodwill and actually when we talk about goodwill we are simply talking about the excess of net asset value and of course another layman way of putting the meaning of goodwill is that good reputation or that good name that a company acquires due to its better performance and it is normally measured in terms of the excess of the net assets okay when we talk about goodwill using the super profit method we get the value of the goodwill by multiplying the super profit times the number of years of purchase like the number of years of purchase in this case is six years so you're going to get the super profit 
multiply by 6 to get the goodwill. Then finally, because we are interested to know the intrinsic value and the intrinsic intrinsic value, intrinsic value refers to the present value of earnings, of expected earnings. It's supposed to be the value of the net tangible assets net tangible assets remember a goodwill is intangible plus goodwill which is a net intangible asset you divide by the number of ordinary shares this is how we are going to get our intrinsic value the percent value of these shares and compare with 84 shillings in the market so to begin for us to get uh, the super profit uh, super profit we are supposed to get the expected earnings and in this case we have the firm expects to generate 62 million per month so it means we already have it so we are supposed to get our return on investment what return will that 62 million give us so it is essentially 15 percent the key to that the firm's net asset is three three hundred million and return on investment is 15 percent so it means that our return on investment our return on investment it's supposed to be 15 over 100 times 300 million which is essentially equivalent to a 150 it's supposed to be 150 uh, not really 150 but supposed to be 45 sorry 45 million but now we already have the expected return so for us to get the value of super profit it's supposed to be expected early expected earnings which is essentially an amount of 62 million what is expected is 2 million 62 million we minus the value of return on investment so return on investment an amount of 45 uh, million we are supposed to get there should be 17 million now 17 million now becomes the super profit okay super profit but remember, we are supposed to get goodwill now. So it means that our goodwill, our goodwill is supposed to be, should be that 45, uh, sorry, seven, the value of, the, the value of super profit, which is 17 times 6. Because it's very good, it's supposed to be super profit times number of years of purchase, which is 6 years. Because the investor is going to hold this uh, investment for six years. So it's supposed to be 17 times six. We get an amount of 102, 102 million. Okay. Then we are supposed to get the number of ordinary shares. Because only now we have the net tangible asset plus goodwill. So we're supposed to get the number of ordinary shares. I told that the power value of ordinary shares capital of Kakuzi is 100 million and each share has an annual value of 20. So it means number of ordinary shares is supposed to be the power value, power value divided by nominal value 
which is essentially equivalent to a hundred uh, million in this case divide by 20 we get five shares okay million shares then now we go to the formula for us to get the intrinsic value which is essentially always is equivalent to p0 p0 it's supposed to be the letter tangible assets which was given as 300 million plus three it's supposed to be 300 million plus the value of goodwill in this case which is supposed to be one or two million two million divided by number of share in this case we have realized to be five so this is essentially four zero two divided by five we get a value of four zero two divided by five we get 80 80.4 now comparing the intrinsic value intrinsic value of 80.4 versus market price per share of 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 uh, 84 in the market we say that these shares are overvalued because what is trading in the market is higher than the intrinsic value so in other words the shares are over valued what is the decision decision is that it should do not buy thank you